Okay, now that the geometry is ready, the grid is ready, it's time to set up the simulation in Ansys Fluent. So we double click on the setup. Mm, so we want to see the, the domain uh, after the case opens and then you'll open it on one processor. So we can click on start. So we wait for Fluent to open. Okay, Fluent is almost ready. It's reading the grid. Okay, now we can see the grid here. We can rotate it a bit. Okay. So this is the inlet of the domain and this is the, the other side is the outlet. So let's check the grid. So everything looks normal, no error given. The minimum volume is not negative. So that's perfect. Uh, we can also report the quality. So here the it's fully structured grid. So the the minimum orthogonal quality is one, and then the maximum aspect ratio is almost uh, forty. Okay, so everything here is uh, as it should be. So we try to make the setting. So we want the simulation to be steady and then incompressible. So we go with, with pressure based. We go with the uh, with the model settings. So we go to the viscous model. So in this version of Fluent, version 2020R1, the default of the turbulence model is SST K Omega model. But for outdoor flow simulation, we usually use the K epsilon realizable model. And here we're going to use the standard wall function. So K epsilon realizable with the standard uh, wall function. So we click OK. So this is ready. We're going to set the, the boundary conditions. So for the inlet velocity profile and also for the outlet. And then for the wall settings, we're going to use a user defined function UDF. We have already set up the UDF, so let's first take a look at the equations. So the velocity profile is a logarithmic velocity profile, a typical neutral atmospheric boundary layer profile. So this is the uh, velocity magnitude and as a function of the height from the ground. U star is the friction velocity, kappa is the von Karman constant, which is between 0 0.4 to 0.42, and then we have the uh, equation to calculate the velocity profile, and y0 is the aerodynamic rough, roughness length. For this simulation, we consider a roughness, aerodynamic roughness length of 0 0.03 meter. So this is actually set based on the train. Uh, so the velocity, the profile for the turbulent kinetic energy uh, at the inlet of the domain is calculated using this equation. So U star again is the friction velocity and C mu is the model constant for the K epsilon turbulence model. And the profile for the turbulent dissipation rate is also calculated based on this equation. So we have friction velocity, we have kappa the von Karman constant, y is the distance from the ground, normal distance from the ground, and y0 is the aerodynamic roughness means. So this is uh, coded into a UDF, a user-defined function. And 
and uh, coming back uh, to the equation so for the velocity for the logarithmic velocity profile we mentioned that we have a aerodynamic roughness lens of 0 0.03 meter so we have uh, fitted the profile for a, a reference velocity of uh, 5 meter and then this is the uh, reference uh, value at the height of 10 meter which is the building height okay so here we have the uh, function to calculate the velocity profile so this is the equation that we already introduced y0 is the aerodynamic roughness lens uf is the friction velocity and v is the the reference uh, velocity which is 5 meter per second and here we have the profile for the turbulent kinetic energy so this is the equation and then here we have the profile for the turbulent dissipation rate so coming back to uh, to the fluent so now first we need to load the uh, the UDF so we go to user defined panel and then the functions and interpret and then we need to go to the folder where the uh, where the UDF is located so I copy the path and then this is the UDF I load it and interpret it so we have to check no error happens here so everything looks okay so it's still loading okay this is done so one thing we should note is that so if you look at the domain the direction normal to the ground here in our domain is z so this should also be the same in your UDF so this value which is the uh, z value if we come back to the equation so we see that in the velocity profile here we have y which is the normal distance from the wall note that this is this is going to be z in our simulation based on the domain orientation and here we also have y so this this should also be z so in the uh, fluent UDF language x uh, brackets 2 bracket means uh, z and also we have it here so the UDF is adjusted based on our uh, domain arrangement so I come back to the fluent we loaded the UDF now we're going to open the panel okay now we have the uh, uh, set up for the uh, velocity inlet so we're going to set the magnitude and that is normal to the uh, boundary and now we open the panel so we have the UDF velocity so we set it here and then we change the turbulence and specification to K and epsilon and for K we have the UDF turbulent kinetic energy and for the epsilon we have the UDF epsilon so we click OK we go also to the outlet And then here we also change the turbulence specification to K and Epsilon and we do the same. Okay now we also need to set the, uh, the roughness specifications so first we do it for the ground. How should we do that because for an for a train we have the aerodynamic roughness lens but in fluent we have to set the roughness height which is the k as the sand grain 
uh, roughness height, which is different than the y0 that we have. You also need a roughness constant. So how should we set that? Uh, you can find an equation in the literature for this kind of calculation for ANSYS Fluent. So KS is the roughness height and CS is the roughness constant and Y0 is the aerodynamic roughness length which is based on the train. So this value we have it, we can put it here. By matching this equation, we can calculate the CS and also the KS with some conditions. So we, we did it also in the in, in the profile. So this value of CS 2.5 is calculated based on a roughness height of 0 0.1. So if we put in this equation, here we have 0 0.03, and here we put 0 0.1, and then this value will be almost uh, 2.5. So here for the roughness height, we put 0 0.1 and for the roughness constant, we use the UDF value, the value from the UDF. Okay, and then for the building wall, here we also use a roughness height of 0 0.1 meter. And for the roughness constant, we keep the default value. Okay, we also set the boundary conditions. Now we can go to the solution methods to check everything is second order. So we change the discretization order to second order. We go to the solution controls. We increase the limit for the maximum turbulent viscosity ratio to 1E20. This is also set. We go to the monitors. We change the convergence criterion for the residuals to none so that the simulation does not stop at a certain point based on the residuals. So we also increase the values to plot and store and then select not to print it to the council. This is also set. Now we're going to initialize the simulation. We initialize, we select the in standard initialization from the inlet. Then we select initialize. And then we are ready to start. We can select, for example, value of 4,000 iterations. At this point, we can save the project. So the project is going to be saved. We can also export the case and data file. In the case file, there's the simulation settings, and the data file is the solution. So the simulation setting is also complete. Now we close Fluent, and then we can see that the simulation setting also has the green tick, but the solution, we still don't have a solution, so we need to iterate to have the solution. So we also completed this step, which was setting the, preparing the setup in ANSYS Fluent. Okay, now we are at the last part of this tutorial that is summarizing what we did so far. So we illustrated how to create a simple geometry of a building and the surrounding domain using ANSYS Design Modeler, how to decompose the domain to facilitate a fully structured grid generation, and then finally generation of the fully structured grid with local refinements near the building wall and ground walls using ANSYS meshing. Uh, we prepared the uh, simulation settings in ANSYS Fluent. Uh, so in these settings, we also learned how to uh, set 
uh, logarithmic profile for velocity, for turbulent kinetic energy and dissipation rate, for the atmospheric bound layer profile at the domain inlet, and also uh, we learned how to set the uh, wall roughness settings using the equations given in the literature. And these two were actually uh, input to the software using a user-defined function UDF, and everything was arranged uh, inside ANSYS Workbench. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. Now you are ready for your outdoor flow simulation.